partnership between NVIDIA and Battlestate Games last summer when NVIDIA Reflex was announced for Escape from Tarkov, and the addition of Unity 2019 being implemented into the game, I knew it wouldn't be long before we saw DLSS with Escape from Tarkov, and today is that day that we have finally got some information regarding it. Although we don't know a specific date when it's coming, we know it's coming thanks to the keynote that NVIDIA provided at CES 2022. Tarkov only got about a minute's worth of mention, but it did show us a little trailer giving you a brief summary of what DLSS is going to do for you, but don't worry this video is going to explain it in much more simpler terms and give you some detail on what DLSS is as well as how it will work and how it will improve your game in Escape from Tarkov. But before we do that, let's show you this 50 second clip of the little trailer that they showed at CES showing you DLSS in action. So what is DLSS? Well it stands for Deep Learning Super Sampling and it is a type of video rendering technique that is used in games lately to boost frame rates by rendering them frames at a lower resolution than what you're playing at. And then it will use an AI called Deep Learning to upscale those frames to the frame rate you've selected. For example, I play at 1440p at the moment and if I turn to DLSS on then it will play the game at 1080p but in the background, upscale everything that's happening to 1440p, giving me more FPS without a loss of quality in the game. And then sometimes you'll even see a sharper, better image through DLSS than you would just playing as your native resolution, which is quite interesting. And this is done quite ingeniously by the deep learning AI compiling everything that you're doing in game frame by frame, pushing it all into the neural network and then reconstructing every single bit of detail, upscaling it and pushing it out. And this happens within an instant, so you won't see that much latency. And combining that with NVIDIA Reflex, you wouldn't notice a difference in your game anyway. It's done really well, and we're on a few versions into DLSS now, so it's not a brand new thing. We're on version 2.3.5, which specifically has more improved optimization for moving objects and moving targets, which is great for a PvP shooter like Escape from Tarkov. And because it's enabled directly in the Unity engine, the AI is able to identify vectors within the game, identify them, learn them, push them out without any real impact on the user. And with 2.3 and 2.3.5, motion vectors are the things that we're able to get great improvement out of. For example, if you're moving at high speed through bushes, you won't see grainy artifacts as you're running. It will be much more crisp, smaller details will appear more crisp and more defined as well. And you'll also see a reduction in haloing and ghosting on light objects and particles as well. So grenades, flashbangs, etc. It won't ghost your image as much as it does currently. The main thing where I think it will come into its own in Escape from Tarkov though is objects in the distance will be much more stable, they won't flicker, they won't pop in with DLSS enabled, allowing us to see much further into the distance without any distractions, allowing us to also see players in the distance a lot easier as well. Now this isn't new, we've had game upscaling in the past and we've had it for quite some time but this is a thing called spatial upscaling. It works frame at a time and it doesn't recognize the frames in time itself so they can't correlate to each other. Meaning the game can upscale a single frame at a time and put more pixels in it but you can't actually add more detail to the image that way. 
which means the image is going to be blurry, not as crisp, and you're going to see a lot more temporal artifacts in the game, such as flickering, as you would compared to something like DLSS, where it's done through AI and deep learning. Now, in a weird way, adding more detail to an image when it's completely still is quite easy to do. You take a few frames of the image being exactly the same, layer them on top of each other, and you'll get a more detailed image. However, in a game, that's very uncommon. You've got things moving around you. For example, Escape from Tarkov, you've always got that foliage moving, you've got the trees swaying, you've got the water rippling, and that will cause each frame to be different. And movement is quite important when you're upscaling because you want that movement to be sharp, especially if you're looking into the distance trying to spot a player. The great thing about DLSS is it can spot identical patterns in movement within a game. The AI can identify movement that is the same or similar, and it can reuse those frames in newer images, meaning there's less processing to do and you still get that sharp image. So your trees and your water are gonna stay sharp and you're gonna get a lot more stability within the image, improving your immersion with for one thing, but also improving your visuals for another. So with Tarkov, how is this gonna improve your game? Well, not only is it gonna make the gameplay experience more smooth because you're playing at a lower resolution and the AI in the back end is upscaling it for you without a loss of performance, you'll have a much smoother frame rate, but you'll also have a much clearer image. When you take painkillers, I expect that the sharpness effect that's added to them will be nowhere near as jarring to look at, which is great. Foliage, rendering and all that will be improved, which is great for people who like to stream and are struggling with the pixelated quality. And you've also got other things like being able to see players in the distances or seeing them in bushes easier because you're gonna be able to see them and you're not gonna get those temporal artifacts where you see like trees or bushes flickering like they've got glitter all over them in the distance. Now, as I mentioned, we don't know a specific date for this being implemented to Escape from Tarkov, but what I do know is it was implemented quite quickly when we got NVIDIA Reflex announced. So expect it quite soon. It could be a week, it could be a month, who knows? But when it is implemented, you will notice an option in your graphics settings which will allow NVIDIA DLSS. It'll probably be a drop down with different options available to you. You'll have quality, balance, performance and ultra performance probably. And on top of that, we could see an option for auto, which allows the game to pick for you what is the best option in terms of DLSS. This will combine great performance with good quality and it might be worth testing that out. Nevertheless, it's an exciting addition. Many people will be able to test this out pretty soon. And that is what I've been waiting for. I've been waiting to do a max FPS guide video in addition to the settings video that I made a couple of weeks ago. But DLSS, I had a little nudge that it was coming and I'm excited and I'm willing to wait. But nevertheless, if this video did help you out understanding what DLSS is and how it can improve our game, then let me know down below in the comments. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. A like's always appreciated and subscribe for future content as I'll be testing out DLSS and the video reflex in combination when they're both in the game. And yeah, have a lovely day guys. I'll see you soon.